Ay, hija de... <risa> Hi, I'm Nidge, and this is me and my driverless car. Today we're talking about artificial intelligence. Ever since we made the first machines, they've been getting smarter and smarter. Computers can beat humans at chess, go, and most recently, poker. We've also created lethal robots and automated guns and Tickle Me Elmos <laughs> alongside all the inventions that make our lives so much better. Uh, honey, I'm going to be five minutes late. I'm glued to a beehive. My nerd. Date. Artificial intelligence is becoming more and more a feature of our day-to-day, -day, helping us save time and money and even lives. So my question is, is AI good or bad? I'm sorry, I cannot answer the question right now. Today we're looking at what's around the corner. OK, Google. What should I call you? Some Aussies call me Googs, but I prefer Google Assistant. No worries. The development of AI is generally grouped around three different stages. The first is artificial narrow intelligence, or weak AI, where computers are really good at one narrow thing, like playing chess, but terrible at image recognition. Millions of computers around the world have many of these narrow intelligence capabilities already. OK, Google, when is your birthday? I try to live every day like it's my birthday. I get more cake that way. The second stage is human-level AI, or artificial general intelligence, where computers could perform most of the mental tasks that a normal human is capable of understanding speech, recognising pictures, solving problems. Many experts feel that this is just around the corner. When will the singularity be? Kurzweil estimates that the singularity will happen in the year 2045. It's not very far away. The third is artificial superintelligence, what Oxford philosopher Nick Bostrom defines as an intellect that is much smarter than the best human brains in practically every field, including scientific creativity, general wisdom and social skills. Kind of like what we might be to a stick insect. OK, Google, what am I thinking right now? You're thinking, if my Google Assistant guesses what I'm thinking, I'm going to freak out. It's pretty true. <laughs> Whether we'll ever make an artificial superintelligence and whether it'd turn out good or bad for us as humans is still a question of open debate. But one thing is for certain, the pace of development is speeding up. To find out more about where we're headed and if things will likely go well for us, I'm talking with a couple of very special experts. Our relationship with machines is going to change. It's going to change in a number of ways. I mean, AI is the operating system of the future. You're going to spend more and more of your time talking to your computer, and your computer's going to understand you, and it's going to learn all the things that you like and all the things you dislike. You start having more and more an intimate relationship, in some sense, with machines. They'll, they'll know you better than your spouse. When will artificial intelligence overtake human intelligence? I think it's going to overtake human intelligence in about 50 years. In fact, I asked 300 of my colleagues that very question, and the average answer they said was about 2062. But the average answer that the public said was about 2045. So the public's a lot more optimistic. So you've got a, a drone there that's being measured by these cameras, it's being watched by these cameras in some sense, and the cameras know where it is, that self-fly, like it doesn't need humans to... No, it doesn't. Can we see it fly? Can we see it? Yeah, awesome. AI is neither good or bad. We, we, we get to make the choice of whether it's good or bad. It's, uh, people make this mistake. They think that the future is something that's fixed, and something that we're going to have to adjust to, whereas the future is not fixed, it's, it's the product of the decisions we make today. I'm not particularly worried that the rise of AI will threaten human existence. We can't discount it completely. We don't know what it's going to be like when we have built machines that are not just as intelligent as us, but much, much more intelligent than us, as, as I and many of my colleagues think we will do. We'll build machines that won't stop at our intelligence, but will have so many natural advantages over humans. There's already a lot of people in AI working on thinking about how do we make sure that the machines are acting in our interest and not maybe in just their interest. <laughs> Artificial intelligence, lifesaver, game changer, and maybe the last invention that humans will ever make. I'm coming to take your job, but I promise to be nice. Oh my God, 